So I decided to come out of my hiatus and talk about the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. And this movie had a tumultuous history to say the least. When it was first announced, I didn't even think it was gonna be real, but then the first trailer came out and like many I was horrified by the Sonic design. It definitely was a uh, nightmare feel to say the least. But unlike many, I was still going through this movie thing it's gonna be, well, kind of a trash fire. A lot of video game adaptations turned to be terrible, with some exceptions like the recent Tomb Raider movie I thought was actually kind of decent. But I was going to this movie, obviously wanting to see it, but expecting something more like the Room version of video game movies. A movie that's gonna be so bad it's good. But then the redesign came around, and I was shockingly surprised how faithful it was to the original source material. And then, a little bit before the movie came out, reviews said the movie was genuinely good. Critics seem to like it okay, and audiences just love it. It's 94% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's the most grossing video game movie of all time, surpassing Detective Pikachu. So after all this hype, what do I think of this movie? It's okay. I mean, I was not expecting this movie to be great to begin with. But maybe I was a little bit disappointed because of all that positive hype pre-release. But even if I take that aside and just look at this movie from a completely objective standpoint, it's okay, it's not bad, but I wouldn't even call it great either, and this is coming from someone who is a huge fan of the franchise. The parts that should be good are really good. Sonic, played by Ben Schwartz, is really funny, I really like his line reading. I never really watched any of his projects, but I know he's in, like, uh, the new DuckTales cartoon, and I think he's also in Parks and Rec, but don't quote me on that. Uh, he's really funny. But the main draw for me was seeing Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik. And as a child of the 90s, seeing Jim Carrey child at 1994, Spirit of the Mask, Ace Ventura, and Dumb and Dumber, oh boy, it was kind of delightful to see him doing the shtick again about 25 years later. It was really fun. And he was definitely hamming it up, which, you know what, for a cartoony movie like this, it's pretty perfect and a great foil for our main character. The rest of the movie was just fine, I guess. I mean, Jason Marsden didn't really bring a whole lot to Tom, Sonic's companion in the movie. But then again, I never really thought their bond was all that believable. None of the actors' fault, really. It just wasn't really compelling. I thought some of the jokes didn't really hit the mark. Um, especially since, pun intended, the pacing was a little bit too fast for some of them to land. And Sonic's character shifts are kind of manipulatively random, for lack of a better term. Uh, this is not really much of a spoiler because a lot of reviewers only talked about it. But there's this whole concept that Sonic has been living in our planet for about a decade or so now, and he hates being alone, which is totally reasonable. But there's this really goofy scene when he's like just chilling in his cave and playing baseball by himself, and then just out of nowhere he starts to go into this fit of rage out of complete nowhere and basically runs around a baseball field so fast that he generates electricity that pretty much kickstarts the events of the movie since the whole city is in uh, blackout and they have to call out Robotnik to detain him, essentially. It, it just seems kind of weird to me because Sonic was always kind of a carefree character and seeing him so distraught and depressed is kind of odd. Not, not because, you know, I don't expect Sonic to feel that way sometimes. I actually prefer it in the games if you had moments of weakness that made the character more believable or at least, you know, less quippy all the time, but on the other hand, the fact that he goes from like 100% quippy to 100% depressed in a matter of a millisecond is just jarring to me. And yes, I know, haha, Sonic the Hedgehog, it goes fast, I'm aware, but th th this is a movie, and I think a movie should have at least decent pacing. Which is really funny, because I'm the kind of person who cannot usually stand slow pacing. I mean, I'm probably not the right audience to watch 2001 Space Odyssey. I think this movie's a marvel from a technical perspective, but boy do I get bored easily. But even then, as much as I love faster pacing, I think slowing things down just a little bit could have made this movie a lot tighter. 
I don't want him to talk so much about spoilers and other elements of the movie, but the point of the matter is, as someone who grew up with the franchise in the early 90s and watching this movie, yes, I can nitpick and criticize it, but at the end of the day, kids are gonna love this movie. And that is obviously the target audience. It's not those curmudgeon 30 plus year old gamers who grew up with the Sega Genesis. It's for our kids, and for the parents who take those kids to see the movie. And honestly, there are a lot worse movies you can take your kids to see. For what they had to do with the budget they had, they made a pretty decent movie, all things considered. It would be nice if the movie took place more in Sonic's world compared to the human world, because we want to see those crazy worlds realized on the silver screen. Seeing that shot of Green Hill at the beginning of the movie was just awe-inspiring. And I hope that now the movie is successful, hopefully we get a sequel that shows us some of the more exotic location of the Sonic universe. I would love to see that, and I think this movie did a really good job establishing the character. Considering that there was a lot going against this movie, I'm just glad it turned out as okay as it did. It didn't blow me away, but it could have been a whole lot worse. Thank you very much for watching guys, and until the next time, take care.